So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's a pretty decent afternoon here today. Uh, we had rain almost all night last night and a little bit more this morning, but things are starting to dry up just a bit. I'm down here at the wood yard. I was just splitting a little bit of firewood, but that is not what today's video is about. What we are going to be doing this afternoon is getting this area right here ready for some fill. I'm going to widen out this whole uh, wood yard area, and what I'd like to be able to do is come down here come right around with the trailer and loop around so all this needs brought up probably right here about five feet down there about seven or eight feet of fill is needed quite a bit of dirt required to uh, fill this all in I'm gonna get all that dirt from over on that bank over there behind that stack of lumber we're just gonna cut that off over there probably head across that way over there I'll have to take two trees out eventually and uh, but there's a lot of fill over there and that'll give me more room that direction and then a lot more room down in here what we're going to do this afternoon is uh, just get it ready for some fill i'm going to use the excavator clear out some of this brushy stuff a few of these small trees in here grade that out a little bit the trail going down to the pond i'm not sure yet i may have enough room to put it on that outside edge although i'd kind of like to get as much in here as i can and then I'll just take that trail down through the wood yard and down over the hill that way. I still haven't quite figured that part out yet, but uh, once we get started, start shaping it up a little bit, we'll get a better idea. There's a couple decent sized trees right in here. A couple maples right here. A couple little cherries. Uh, those can be used for firewood. Everything else down in there is just uh, brushy stuff. I'll get rid of that. If I do put the trail on that edge out there I won't need to put any pipe in here if I fill this the whole way over to the edge here so you can see like where that landscape trailer is parked over there that water that comes down the road from the house you know we're gonna widen that road out as well I'll have to do something to get rid of that water it runs right down that ditch I may be able to you know cut it off that way I'm not sure yet once again I don't have it all figured out yet but I have a full tank of fuel in the excavator, and when I'm all done, everything will work out just fine.
see what we just went through here. Gosh. Trying to line these shirts up. Every piece of wood she put up he there wanted, to hold it. Archie's wood. leaping up trying to pull them from her hands. But, but uh, why don't you give her the shirt here? Yeah, shirt. so the one that's not up there is the one I have on. This is Life is Better Outdoors with the Morgans. And uh, I kind of thought Archie's going to jump. <laughs> yeah. But we have the concrete with the hosses on the front and actually I'll flip this around real quick. So there's multiple uses for Mike's stickers. Yeah. They're now We should hanging. start hanging clothes up in the house like that. So that's the combo shirt, Concrete yeah. the Hosses. It's a popular one. Archie fan club, we stick together with a stick in the middle. Outdoors with the Morgans, very popular. Um, we have ladies sizes too. Uh, this is the sand color with the original wood round, Outdoors with the Morgans, the finer things in life. Outdoors with the Morgans, Believe in Yourself with Sasquatch. Uh, these are different sizes. And then we have Sawdust as Man Glitter, Outdoors with the Morgans. And then just to give you an idea, the front has the original logo. Very nice. I like this setup here on the stack of lumber. This, <laughs> this is pretty nice. But anyway, all of these shirts. Yeah, and we have some long sleeve options. It's just in the gray color. And then we have this Outdoors with the Morgans. And if you uh, just want if you don't want the concrete with the hosses on that side, we have the uh, logo with the flag that's yeah. blowing and it kind of looks faded. So um, that's pretty cool. It says Outdoors with Morgans and there's a... But they're all on the website. Link yeah. in the description and I'll pin a comment if you'd like a shirt. Yeah. Melissa just came down to uh, inspect my work over there. What do you think? Well, I was walking the dogs and... <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do I think about what you're doing? Yeah, I like the idea. You're always uh, creative on... All right, so it's starting to uh, come together here. I got that one pile of brush over there. I'll take it down to the burn pit. A couple firewood logs right here. There's a few maples in that cherry. They can stay there. What I'm trying to accomplish here is to come down that road right there, like, say, truck and trailer. This will all be filled in right in here. Come around. And you can turn right before you get to the wood bunker and be able to make a big loop down here. But uh, this will take quite a bit of fill right here. There's probably seven, eight feet right in this area right here. But the more fill that we take from over there, we'll make more room over there. Fill it in right here. Yeah. There's Hunter standing up the house. Give me that. Well, you really like this piece of firewood, don't you? Yeah. What are you doing? Firewood, he wants to roll on it. He rolls on his sticks, though. All right, well, thanks for having us down. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. Archie coming down here is like Ty going to the trampoline park. <laughs> it's so exciting. Come on. Come on, Piper. Let's go. All right, I went up to the house and uh, had a little dinner, just coming back down here. Uh, but this little cherry tree right here, I'm gonna go ahead and take it down as well. It's definitely leaning way over this way. It's not really in my way right now, but it probably will be. Like I said, these couple maples can stay here. But yeah, this will work out pretty good. I'm gonna hop on the machine, get rid of this brush pile right here. Take that down, and I should be ready for some fill.
to start moving dirt. But uh, Mother Nature's not really cooperating. It's starting to rain again right now. I think it's uh, supposed to rain most of the night. Actually, the next couple days looks pretty sloppy. But yeah, this will work out really good. Once I start uh, putting fill in here, I gotta move these couple little firewood poles here. But I'm gonna cut into this bank here, this existing fill, and tie the new fill in with the old fill. You know what I mean? I'll cut into that, knock that over, put everything in in uh, you know nice thin lifts, track it in. A roller would be great, or actually like a sheep's foot compactor, because I'm going to have probably eight or nine feet of fill down there in the low end. But if I put it in in thin lifts and track it in, uh, I should get into some pretty good material. It should be fine for just a road. That's how I did everything else in the wood yard there years ago. So if you saw that last video, you know our new skid loader was delivered the other day. It's up inside the building right now. I could have used it a little bit this afternoon down here. I wanted to use the uh, excavator, though, to get those trees out of the way. I'll tell you what, though. I'm like that kid. Remember back in the day, we'd get a new pair of tennis shoes and not want to get them dirty? It's kind of how I feel right now. But uh, hopefully, as soon as it dries up a little bit, we'll kind of tear right into things and uh, knock the new off of that thing. But anyway, I appreciate you all being here. And don't forget, if you're interested in one of those shirts, there will be a link in the description. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.